All right, in this video, we're gonna learn about the DC plus AC off-grid electrical system by Nomadic Cooling. 200 amp hour Victron batteries, Turbo GX, Touch 50s. It is an all-encompassing electrical system that is perfect for your overland rig. This is gonna be a rough overview. We're not gonna go over everything. As I mentioned earlier, if you'd like to learn more, go to nomadiccooling.com. Don't forget that we have Power crimpers available for rent, uh, and the rental price is free for two weeks if you're doing an off-grid electrical system. You know, the thing is, is it's January in Phoenix. It's probably 60 degrees outside, maybe 55, and I'm bundled up as if it's a uh, freezing snowstorm outside, Kenny. Uh, we have the heat on in here, blasting. Uh, my name's Jonathan. We are in the middle of the Arctic tundra in Phoenix, Arizona, Glendale, Arizona. We've done the, uh, the intro to the DC only electrical package, the DC plus AC electrical package, and now is the big kahuna, the DC plus AC plus all the frills, the Nomad system. This is the best electrical system that money can buy. It has everything that you need all in one package. I know this can be a little tedious. If this is your first time learning this, it can be a bit overwhelming. It's gonna be as if I'm speaking a completely different language to you. And for that, I do apologize. We'll take it back to the basics. This electrical system uh, is available in 200 amp hour Victron batteries or 330 amp hour Victron batteries. The 200 amp hour Victron battery is the smallest battery on the market per amp hour to inches. This is a 330 amp hour battery. It's empty on the inside or I'm super strong. And you can compare the two sizes here. So when you go to nomadiccooling.com, you have the option of picking four of these or four of these for the electrical system. This will give you 800 amp hours of total. And this will give you, I don't you know, 1200 and some. So we're gonna start there, but we're actually gonna come over here to the shore power. This is where everything starts. We have a 30 amp shore plug here. This comes inside the electrical kit as well. You have your available in either a white, black, or stainless steel. It comes up here to a 30 amp 110 outlet and then into the inverter. Uh, this is the multi plus two inverter, which actually looks the best on this little presentation that we put for you. But for most vans, the multi plus the original 3000 is the better one to choose. The reason for that is it's a little bit smaller this way, it's a little bit wider this way, but it fits perfectly on the backside of your rear wheel well. The power is then gonna come out of here in 110, and it's gonna go right into here to a 110 plug. And this 110, not a plug, another breaker. So we have a breaker here, we have a breaker here, and then this is for your outlets. You have the option of three. You can actually get this in different sizes. For most vehicles, most overlanding vehicles, you're not gonna need that many breakers on the 110 side. You may only have your hot water heater if you're going electric on its own breaker. That pretty much sums up this electrical system right here on the 110 side. So the way that works is it goes from the inverter. We're gonna use uh, four aught wire. Now the wire sizes, although we could have used smaller wires for this application here, I always go up in wire size for two reasons. Number one, safety. Number two, heat. You have to remember that your wire chart is based on temperature at an ambient temperature. So we always go up a little, costs a little bit more money, but there's a little bit of safety involved in there as well. So we have the four aught wire going into here with the 400 amp fuse. On this side, we have a Lynx Smart BMS. We're gonna come back to that. On this side, we have the Lynx Power In, and this feeds up to four batteries independently. Now, I've mentioned this before in other videos. You have the option of using a Lynx Power In here or a Lynx Distributor. Now, the option becomes availability. We'll often either put in the kit the Lynx Power In or the Lynx Distributor. Now, the only difference is in here, you can internally fuse this. So this battery would be fused down here on a terminal breaker, just like we have right here, and it will be fused up here. Now, you wanna fuse it as close to the battery as possible, but the more fuses, a lot, a lot of people will say the more fuses, uh, the more resistance within the system. But for us, the more fuses that we have, the safer the system becomes. And everything with these electrical systems, you wanna have it as safe 
and redundant as possible. So we go from our 200 amp hour battery with our terminal breaker right here to our power in. We're gonna come over here to our smart BMS. Now the smart BMS is uh, probably about a year, uh, less than two years out of a brand new Victron product. It's your shunt, your on off switch and your BMS all one convenient little package. This form fitting nature here allows everything to be nice and clean within the system. The nice thing about this BMS here is that you can turn it on and off from your phone. And if I come right up here, you can actually turn it off from a switch as well. So you have the ability to turn it off from your phone or from a switch. I'll show you how to turn it off from your phone a little bit later. All of that information is going into your Serbo GX, which you can see right up here on your, uh, your touch screen as well. Right here, we can actually turn the inverter on and off. Right here, we can put it in charge only. We can actually go in here and we can reduce the amp draw that we're pulling out of this from your shore power. And we can see your tanks, your water tank, your black water tank, your gray water tank, your diesel tank, whatever tanks you wanna measure, we can see all that right here. Not only can you see that right here, you can see it on your phone and you can see it on your desktop computer at home or your iPad. I'll show you that here shortly. We're gonna combine this with an MPPT 100-30. The 100-30 is your solar charge controller. What's not being shown on here is the other 50 amp uh, Blue C 187 breaker that goes right here. Why isn't it there? Uh, well, they're out of stock right now. So we had to steal one from right here on our board. We also have an Orion 1212-30. That's for DC to DC charging off your stock alternator of your vehicle. The Orion's a good product. They're coming out with a new version next year of the Orion. It charges 30 amps, as I said, DC to DC. The downside of the Orion is it does tend to get a little bit warmer than you would like. If you're looking for something even a little bit better than Orion, you may want to upgrade to a Victron Buck Boost. They come in 50s or 100s. All of that DC to DC power goes back up into the Lynx distributor. It comes down in here into a 220 amp battery protect that then goes down into your DC loads. Now from there, you have the option actually of connecting your uh, nomadic cooling air conditioner up to there, or you can bring it out to the fifth position of your Lynx distributor. Now you do have to remember the Lynx distributor has one spot, two spot, three spot, four spot, five spots. There's a fifth spot on the other side. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll bring the secondary alternator charging from more DC to DC into that spot right there. But it's important to remember all of these are actually interchangeable and you can move them around in any position that you'd like, as long as it's fused correctly for that application. Now let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my iPad here real quick and turn on my screen share. So I'll start screen recording, start broadcast. And I'll go in here to the Victron app. I'll show you that right now. I'll click Serbo GX, I'll see VRM portal. Now what you're seeing right here is you're seeing the nomadic cooling Serbo, which is this. You're seeing it on my iPad. It's actually run through the Wi-Fi inside the building. If you're inside your vehicle, you can use a Wi-Fi hotspot or you can use a Victron 4G LTE connection from Verizon to get this information up to the cloud as well. And we're seeing it right here. It's a real world uh, scenario of what's going on right up here. Uh, so it can be data logged everything right into here that what's going on. So if you wanna check on your system from anywhere in the world, you can do it right here. Now you'll notice up here in the type, top right hand corner, we do have the Ruby tags in there. These nice little white uh, pucks, they come inside the electrical kit, I believe and you can actually get this information up on your Serbo GX and it comes right in here. You could put 10 of these inside your vehicle, you could put them under the vehicle, you can put them in your refrigerator, and then what it allows you to do is check the temperatures inside the vehicle through your Serbo GX. It also allows you to turn on relays from either your BMS right over here, uh, your Serbo GX or actually a relay inside of your inverter to turn a fan on inside of the electrical compartment based on the temperatures inside these pucks. So this is seeing everything inside of my electrical system, the current amp draw, and let's go back over here to Victron. I'll go to the Serbo GX. I'll go to remote console, 
everything that's up here on your monitor, or your, your GX Contrast, you can see it right here as well. You can put your own logo right inside as well, so you can see little things like we're charging. Uh, our batteries right now are at 14.4. We have no alarms, our AC loads. You can see everything uh, right from right from your iPad or your cell phones. The way that I actually utilize this is when I'm driving, I either keep my cell phone or my iPad hooked up at the front of my vehicle on a mount so that I can see my charging either from my solar or my DC to DC, and also to make sure my secondary alternator is charging appropriately based on the speed that I'm driving to make sure that when I get where I'm going, my batteries are gonna be at 100%. And if you can't see it while you're driving, you don't actually have any idea. So it's best just to keep an eye on it. This is a system that allows you to do that. If you wanna learn more about this badass DC plus AC off-grid electrical system by Nomadic Cooling, the Nomad electrical system, go over to nomadiccooling.com and remember to go further in comfort with cold air technology and the best DC plus AC off-grid electrical system available on the market today. Guys, let's go further in comfort together.